Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and this is a change in me. We just got done discovering this brand new area full of brand new houses and brand new people. Brand new friends. I can't talk to you. You're not wanting to talk to me at all. I want to be your friend. Damn you. Be my friend. You won't be my friend. Okay, cool. So we'll just go into the house. This is a dumpy looking house. Do you have any change in your cushions? No change in the cushions. This is actually pretty cool. I... Ooh. Hi, Sadako, Samara, whatever you want to call it. Oh, let's, you know what? Why, why run from a new friend? Let's hang out. Let's hang out. I'm going to watch Evil Dead. You should join me. Hell yeah. I'm glad I don't freak you out. Quest complete. Well, aren't you awesome? You are cool as hell. Can we watch Evil Dead for, for real? Something's happening. Oh my god. Okay, so this game took a turn for the uh, unexpected. I see a cabin in the woods. I see, well, there's probably nothing I can do out here. That's awesome, though. I love that they included that in. You gotta watch Evil Dead. You are Evil Dead. Can I go into the cabin? Is that the Necronomicon? That's the Necronomicon. Look at it. Necronomicon is almost ready. Coming soon in full version. Oh. Really? Like, I can't go in. I can't go in. That's too cool. Can I leave? I can leave. You are the tops, Bluebee. You are the bee's knees. That was awesome. Look, I know I'm easily pleased, but just... Oh. Is this house not finished? Is this not... Okay, so... Uh, what's going on here is that... The same thing that might be going on with every other house, it's just that you wouldn't know because they've got collision detections and they've got events set up. But this house was placed right on top. Not even on top. It was placed within the mesh of the floor, so the SGB's got no idea which one we want to see, and the screen is just uh, mesh tearing all, all, to, all to heck. Uh, not a problem, like I said, could be completely alleviated if only there was collision, an event blocking me from entering the house. I don't know how many houses are like that, it might be all of them. <laughs> it seems to be all of them. The girl next door is very nice. Yes, she is. I baked her some cookies, I hope she liked them. I think she, I agree. I agree. Can I go in here? No. Who? So, you know, this might be where the demo ends. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? No. You're stuck up. Don't want to talk to me? Fine. Uh, that's also a thing. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. Let's keep going. What's beyond this point? What is this? Oh, it's the Hell Track. This is the thing that I've been seeing the advertisements for, right? Ouch. I tried to pick it up but cut my finger. Ouch. Aww. You guys leaving your trash everywhere. What you got for me? Hello. Oh, good. So there's stuff you can do here still. I need someone to pick up all the trash piles around Hell Track. I hope you can help me out. You will need a trash picker, though. I'm sure there's one around one of the trash bins near here. You're probably right. That's probably it. <laughs> I'll take it. I will take the trash picker. That's pretty sweet. All right, guys, I'm gonna... Yeah, that's... If only it were that easy in real life. You know what? It kind of is. It kind of is. Let's just run through here. Man, they really did mess this place up. There's trash everywhere. On the track? What do you guys like? Riding your ATVs, motorcycles, whatever you're doing, and then like chugging a Red Bull and just throwing it off onto the track after you're done. I don't appreciate that behavior. It's in between the bleachers. Oof, I apologize for the fast camera switching. If I could go into uh, third person for a bit, I would. Oh, did you know, I just discovered this a second ago, 
When you're in first person mode, R and F let you look up and down so you don't have to use your mouse. But also, C and V, which normally like zoom in and out when you're in third person, they change the, the field of vision. Like it's, it's technically a zoom in and out, I guess. But I thought that was really interesting. No, it's a, it's a change in the field of vision. It's not a, a simple zoom in and out. You cannot play a game like this. But you can certainly try. I just thought that was really interesting. So you could have a mechanic in your game where you've got like a uh, spy glass. And whenever you use it, you go into first person and you're allowed to go zoom in on things. I just thought that was really interesting. I will not apologize for being a giant nerd. Do I not have all the garbage? Oh, there's some. Yes! What you got for me? I need to get some hell track signs up around the track area. I think you can help me with this. I will reward you handsomely. You need a shovel to put the sign posts in the ground. There has to be one around here somewhere. When you find one, I'll mark the areas I want signs at. That sounds... There it is. You just left it right on the track. That is so dangerous. It's a dirty shovel. You found a shovel. Oh, this would be easy. Yeah. Admire my handiwork. There you go. Great, you got a shovel. Put the signs at the marked areas. How many signs do you want? Do you see this nonsense? People know where they're at. I mean, at this point, if you don't know where you're at, I'm sorry. You deserve whatever nasty surprises you're going to get from being hell track. You collected the trash, you were awesome. Yeah, well, don't thank me. It's all in a day's work. So this game in particular has been a pretty great study in all the signs put up. The, this game and its mechanics have been a really great study in like ways you can have the player do fetch quests and things like that for your RPG when you're trying to break up the monotony between combat, exploration, dungeon, dungeoneering. They do seem like it's all the same kind of stuff, but it's really not mechanically. It's, it's a little bit different to the player to go and put signs up everywhere and then it is to pick up trash and to see the results of the, your, your work when you look back out onto the map and see the signs put out in the trash uh, picked up. It can be psychologically rewarding and that's, that's important because you're trying to psychologically reward, hello, your player. Did I collect all the change yet? No. That's a real thing. I thought the change was contributing towards your, uh... There it is. I thought it contributed towards your money amount. I mean, in real life, if you saw a bunch of coins everywhere, whoops, you might want to keep them. <laughs> you got all my change, thank you so much. You received a thousand gold. That's not fair. You shouldn't be paying me for that. You really shouldn't pay me. I, uh, I didn't give you your change just to get a reward. This is awesome. Big Hill. Chickens. Chicken? Chicken? Oh. Ouch. I tried to catch him, but it pecked my hands. Ouch. Hello. It's the elusive lady of the chicken. Hello, there are rare kickens somewhere in these woods that are very special to me. If you catch them and bring them back to me, I will reward you. You will need a net where they will peck you. There should be one around here somewhere. Well, I don't want to get pecked. There's a net. I'm very lucky. You found a net. A net? Come here, a net. You know, normally I would be running from chickens. You know, that's, that's like my first video that I got more than zero views on and I was like, oh yay. I made myself 
thumbnail. I made myself a silly intro. Good grief. We got any chickens down here? I didn't see any before. How did you escape my sight? And you. Oh, that's it. Oh my gosh, you got all the rare chickens. Here's your reward. So, you have helped everyone in this area. Good job. Yeah, I bet I did. What's next? Alligators. Danger, swim at your own risk. I'm not going to swim anywhere where there are alligators. I should just say don't swim at all. Yeah. That's not a knife. If you got time, think you could feed the crooks. That would be great, mate. I'm so sorry if you're Australian and I'm butchering your accent. Oh. Oh. Okay, great. So you feed them and they go away. I mean, that's fair, right? This cracks me up. See, this is another way of doing kind of the same thing. It's a fetch quest, sort of. I mean, you're collecting an item and you're like, here, give it to the crocodile disappears. You can see the results of your quest. It's not just going and talking to a bunch of NPCs and increasing a, a switch or a variable, you know, by increments over and over again. Don't do that. Make it engaging. This is engaging. This is rewarding to me because I can see the results of my labor. Sure, he back there is going to be like, good job, here's your reward, and that's supposed to tell me I'm done. But that's not rewarding. Are you sick and tired of my commentary yet? Because if you are, I'm sorry, I'll stop. Now it's just, this is my praise for the game, you know, that thank the links mod, you feed all the crooks, mate. Quest complete. You received a thousand G's. Now then, might have messed it up a little bit there. I feel like I didn't get a thing that said I helped everybody in the area. Do you have another quest? No. Do I have 7,000 gold yet? I have 7,040. And I think I just gotta go talk to, uh... The Scarecrow. The Watermelon-Headed Scarecrow. You paid off the city's debt. I will expect the same amount of G soon. Yay! We finished it. What a lovely collection of, of quests. I love that. Thank you for playing A Change in Me. This is just a demo. The full game will have furniture you can upgrade your home with. There will also be many, many more places you will be able to explore and adventure in. I plan to constantly add new areas and updates, so stay tuned if you enjoyed this demo. Also, if you would like to donate, that would be much appreciated and will allow me to sink more time into the game. Thanks again. Have a good one. Thank you. I'm going to look up at the developer for this. Well, unfortunately, the demo, while available at itch.io at DSA76, well, unfortunately, I donated a dollar, but there's has not been an update at all. Well, unfortunately, according to the itch.io page, uh... <clears throat> Well, unfortunately, according to DSA's itch.io page, uh, the game has not been updated since 2017, and it doesn't seem like there is a uh, Discord or anything like that. Uh, nothing to really engage with the user. I did pay a dollar for it, though, and I did find it fun. Uh, even though it's not a project file and it's a game, you shouldn't have a problem seeing kind of how these quests were done just by observing. And I think that that's really the moral of the story here. The value in this game is that uh, it's a new way of doing things. Possibly. The value of a game like this is that it can show you a different way of doing things that you're already doing. Now, you might already have a game going on, you might have a hundred different ways of doing quests just like this, and they're all already in your game, and you're doing just fine without additional inspiration like this, but this exists anyway, and for some people who don't have that level of competence that you do, uh, and that level of experience, who need more motivation and more inspiration, and they need to know what information 
to have to ask more questions and learn more things this is very valuable uh, if you know what you're looking for i really enjoyed it i really appreciated all of the different ways of doing things i learned something from it and that's it i wish there was more sadly i don't think there will be ever but we can enjoy this while it's here so links in the description below if you want to try it for yourself thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video until then bye, -bye.